Hi guys, it's Abu Pasha here again. Today's uh, video is going to be slightly different. It's actually a review of sewing machines. Part of the aims of this channel is to use money wisely. And I decided to buy a sewing machine so that I could make very minor alterations to some t-shirts. I first started off with a 35 pound Aldi sewing machine. I had that for about one month. And then I bought a second machine from Amazon and that was £85 and that was a brother sewing machine. Uh, the reason for me buying the second machine will become clear as we go along. And I hope you find this review informative and if you have any questions, ask them in the comments section and I will do my best to answer them. Now I could go on a long rant as to what is wrong with the 35 pound Aldi machine but I think the best way for me to explain what is wrong is by showing you a video footage of the quality of the stitching. I've used a high contrast in places of this video so that you can actually see the individual threads. This is very close up video so here you can see a very simple cotton t-shirt which was stitched you can see the stitching is very poor quality, it's very uneven and you can see even a basic, simple, single stitch is difficult for this machine to achieve. I can also tell you that when you actually use this £35 machine, I get no confidence that it will be able to continue stitching for more than say 20 to 30 centimetres after that. It'll stop for some reason and the stitch will have broken down. What then happens is that I have to th cut the thread, re-thread the thread into the needle, and then start again from scratch. This is very time consuming, and to give you an idea, for every meter of stitching I did, it took me about one hour. Also, when the machine is running through the cloth and is stitching, the cloth has to be manually pulled through and it's not a smooth process it's a very rough process and it just doesn't feel solid. I went on Amazon and I searched for the cheapest sewing machine which has good reviews and I came up with the Brother LS14S. This was £85 so still a budget machine. Bear in mind that most machines tend to be in the range of around £200 and upwards. This is definitely a budget machine, it's very cheap. And here you can see what the box looks like. And this is after I've opened it, so this is the unboxing. You can see the machine is out on the table and also it comes with some accessories which include um, some spare, the needles, some bobbins, and also the foot pedal. There's, you've got the guarantee, the instruction manual. It's a complete machine. And this is out of its packaging, it's all set up, ready to go ready to be tested. And that's what it looks like. I'll post a link to where you can buy this machine from and when you click on that link it will take you to Amazon which lists all the functions that it has. I've got some footage now of how the machine sounds and how it performs when you're stitching, when you've got the pedal to the metal so to speak. Here we go. So I wanted to show you the stitching quality. And I don't know if you can see I'm going really close now. It's good. It's clean. It's consistent. This is decent. No issues with that. This is on the other side. And here you can see the stitching of the 85 pound machine. It looks nice and clean. Um, even stitch. It's a night and day difference between the 35 pound machine and 85 pound machine. And so let's now do a side-by-side -side comparison of the stitch 
of the two machines. At the top you can see the 85 pound machine brother, uh, the stitch is nice and clean. I've used high contrast pictures here to, to demonstrate and underneath that you can see the 35 pound Aldi. The stitching is all over the place, it's uneven and it's very very rough. The picture says it all. So here's a, a side by side comparison. Physically I've put the two machines aside so we've got the 85 pound brother machine here it's more bigger it's got a metal chassis and uh, it's more expensive and it just looks the part this one's smaller and to be honest there's nothing wrong with having a small machine providing it performs well but this doesn't perform well i wouldn't buy this i think it's a waste of 35 pounds and finally we have the summary and conclusion to this so the Aldi is cheaper at £35, but the stitch quality is poor and due to the constant jamming, it takes a long time to sew even a 30 centimeter piece of cloth. When you run the machine, it just doesn't feel right. It feels like it's gonna break at any moment in time. The Brother, on the other hand, is more expensive, but is a proper sewing machine which works smoothly and the stitch quality is good. And the conclusion is you should buy the Brother. For £85, this is one of the cheapest machines around and performs well. Even though the Aldi is £35, it still isn't worth it. I'd go with the Brother. It's £85. It's one of the cheapest good machines around. So buy that one. So that's the end of the video. And if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel, that would be very much appreciated. And I'll see you next time.